What's cracking with you people? This is the Divas Wolf and welcome to a post recording of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And in this one we're going to be doing a lot of girlfriend grinding. As wrong as that may seem. But um so what I decided to do was to spare you guys the um spare you guys the hassle of seeing me grind throughout the game it's like oh my god I just got hit by a train but yeah uh, I decided to spare you guys the hassle of watching me try to get each of the girlfriends up to 100 and I'm just gonna show you some clips they give you some some details you need to know if you're by any chance interested in doing uh, the 100% girlfriend run. You don't have to do it. As a matter of fact, if you really and you only have to date one of your girlfriends, and that's Millie, to get her up to 35, the uh, 34%, and she'll give you the key card to get into her house, and then you continue on with the missions. Uh, for the Four Dragons Casino. And I want to show you that you can get into that, that the first place we're going to go to. The first place we're going to go to is we're going to go to San Fierro and we're going to get the bullet. That is the that is the car that I used in previous parts to increase my sex appeal in order to gain uh... in order to bypass certain requirements for certain girlfriends now why it is I didn't bother cutting out this run to it I don't know maybe to give you guys a reference point like I said I was loopy when I was doing this it was and and to give you guys a accurate representation the final video cut here is going to be roughly an hour long and that is one hour out of five. Yeah, five hours is how long it took me to actually do all of this. And what do you get for doing all this? You get some extra threads and the ability to drive certain cars. That's it. I'm letting you guys know up front. If you guys don't want to watch this, I don't blame you. But for those of y'all who do want to watch it, and to see my misery and the absolute ridiculous lengths I had to go to to actually get some of this, get get a lot of this to work. You're in for a treat. So now we got the bullet. We're gonna head up. We're gonna hop on the train tracks and travel in style. And a sports train for those of you who've watched um, Top Gear at all. We're gonna keep going and. I should be cutting here right about now. Nah, I run this person over. Yes, done dented my whip. How you like that? And a little bit of drunk driving here, and bada boom, baby. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Don't flip. Don't flip. Don't flip. And nailed it. Now our first stop is going to be Denise. The very first girlfriend we got. And there's some punk riding up in there. I, I understand that I've been gone for a minute, but you don't have to place me with this nut job. Hey, now, as you can see here, I she's glitching out. I'm and she'll suddenly there. jump over here there, and get out the car. Here, so, in terms of in terms of girlfriends, you don't have to worry about doing anything. You don't have to worry about um, anything weird happening should the, um, should the, P should the NPC glitch out. Now, I was going to take it to a bar. And you might be wondering why I'm passing by the bar. Well, that's because she said, let's do a drive-by. And I figured, well, we do a drive-by, it might get her fondness up a little bit more. No, don't make this mistake. Um, you will eventually do a drive-by with her to get her fondness of you up. But you don't have to do it now. I did it because I completely forgot that there's a specific prompt that comes up when you actually do it. So... Until you get that prompt, when she asks to go go somewhere to eat, head to the bar, grab the street from where she stays, head in there, grab the thing, and go. That's all I need to go. And that's all I need to do. And for Denise, I ain't got no respect, CJ. 
um, if for whatever reason you get her require you get her um, fondness really really low, which you don't want to do. It, it, if she goes to zero, she'll dump you, and you can never get her back because she's a mission based um, girlfriend. But if she gets like below 15%, I believe is the actual marker. Um, then most girlfriends usually require you to actually get a specific requirement to get them to date you again. You don't have to do that right. You, have to, you, don't, you don't have to do that for, for Denise. I think she'll just date you no matter what. Now right here I'm going through the statistics. I want to show you guys that if you're ever um, lost or you don't know exactly how far along you are, just go down to achievements and right at the top there You'll tell you your progress of each of your friends. And this is a quick, simple way to let you guys know where you are. Also, I've traveled a fair distance by car and by, and by foot. I mean, my goodness. So, yeah. Now, to give you a quick breakdown for each of the girlfriends in terms of each basic date, you're going to get... 5% for every successful date. And that's just that's just basic, you know. Every date you go on, 5%. Nothing more, nothing less. An unsuccessful date, you lose 4%. So you actually don't lose as much as you would gain. So you can always balance that out. And each girlfriend has a specific... Uh, thing you can do at specific points to increase their fondness. Now, here's a trick that here's a trick that you should that you should guys should know in order to actually make this go by faster. N m make use of the save time skip feature because if you save three times, you advance time by 15 in-game hours. In the process of doing that, you guarantee that you can that they will be out at a specific time. You can check the gauge up there up there in the top right and see what times I'm going I'm going to pick them up. I'm going to pick up each each of the girlfriends. It it makes it it makes it it makes it much easier in case you're just trying to just trying to get this done as quickly as possible. If not if not, feel free to ignore it. But um if you don't go there at a certain point of time they just won't be here. So I went in saved once and then came back and I'm just illustrating this point to you guys now because up until like the second girlfriend, I think I, I started trying, I started uh, getting their progress up. I didn't use this trick. So what you're looking at right now is me running back and forth and doing the save again. So yeah, but yeah. So in, but yeah. So the thing, so tips, so general tips to keep in mind. You can, you always get five percent fondness on an improved date. Now I don't know what's going on here, and I think I just want to cut this out. No way, that's right. I'm, that's right. I'm showing that you can't just that you can't just walk into the save and walk out because the time actually won't advance. You have to actually walk in manually save and then walk. If you just walk into the save point and then don't save, it won't it won't advance time. Kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? Um. But as uh, like I said, five percent basic, basic five percent, nothing more for every date. Hey but you can do small hey things buddy. during the date, during the date to increase yeah, the fondness. Also, also in terms of each girlfriend, each girlfriend has a special has a special date. This is Denise's special date. Denise likes driving around, you know, and. Actually, let me rephrase that. I'm actually getting, I'm actually, I'm actually getting a little, little confuddled right now. Den Denise and all the girls have a special driving date. How driving dates work is that you drive around an area that they like, at a speed they don't mind. For Denise, I think it's, it's a slow to moderate pace. You don't want to drive too fast. But uh, depending on how you drive and what you do during the driving date will increase that fun bar faster. Denise likes drive-bys. So if you roll up on some ballas and start blasting on them, 
the fun gauge goes up faster. Denise, don't play around. So it's so it's just kind of weird to think that you could go on a driving date, come back, get yeah, get some coffee, and after you kill somebody, it's just weird to me. Um, but as you can see here, I've jumped ahead. I jumped ahead a bit. Denise, uh, Denise will invite you in for coffee. Remember earlier how I said that there was a particular mod that got Grand Theft Auto in a lot of trouble back in the day? It's the hot coffee mod. Now I cut out the scene where it happened because I've already shown us. I've already shown what those coffee scenes look like in in the main playthrough with Millie, you know. And in the original game, the camera would shake, all this kind of stuff would happen, you hear some moaning and whatnot, and then you'd be done. As a matter of, and, and that's just how the girlfriend ones would go. And this one, I guess because of the port, they got rid of the camera shake. I don't know why they just did. But, um, in terms of, in terms of, a, but in terms of each girl, you know, and, and, I'll, and I'll cover each girl's, like, specific driving thing you can do to increase their fondness during the fun day. Um, but what you can do from there is you can give them gifts. Um, there are two gifts that you can give, um, that you can give to each girl to increase their fondness by 2%. Only 2%. Also, you might notice that that car was driving backwards and then did a U-turn. That happens a lot inside the, uh, Xbox Live Arcade and PSN versions of this game, I believe. Because, once again, port. What are you going to do? Um, and the thing you can do is you can... You can give each girl a bouquet of flowers. And that will give you an extra 2% on the date. Or you can give them a toy. And you get an extra 2% that way. You can also kiss your girl. And I've seen conflicting things about this particular thing you can do. Is after each date, you can walk up to a girl, hit left bumper, and you can get a kiss. Now, the kiss that you did, now, now from what I've seen, one guy says that if you kiss the girl, you get minus 1%. But I've also seen it where you kiss the girl, you get plus 1%. So I'm not certain which is which. Also, I'm only showing off this dance sequence once because a lot of the girls prefer going to clubs. And after a certain point, and it would just get tedious. I'm only showing this once. Um, I, I, actually, I think I might show it a second time, just because there's a different dance animation for it. But, um, how these special dates work is that you're for the first forty percent, for your first forty percent progress bar, you're going to be taking each of the girls out to food dates. You know, diners, bars, restaurants, um, fast food joints. You're going to be taking them out there for your first 40%. Once you hit 40%, then you can get special dates. And that varies it up a bit. But the dates still get a little bit annoying. Especially if you're doing them all at once. Which I unfortunately did. I recommend... I do recommend very highly... To do the dates, if you're going to date the girlfriends and get them up to maximum percent, I recommend doing it as you're going through the game. So that way, you're building it up slowly, you're not hitting it all at once. It gets it gets annoying. But yeah, um, and I believe this is the last special date that Denise can go on. The next thing I'm going to be showing will be your rewards for getting Denise up to a hundred percent. And the rewards for each girl is the same. You get the keys to their car and you get a special piece of clothing. It's unique clothing, you can't buy it, you can't find it. They ha they have to give it to you. Okay, you're doing good. And the key and the keys to Denise's car is is um uh whatever it is. See right here right here I kissed Denise. And the reason why I think it's a plus one percent is because she didn't back off. She didn't try to force you. She didn't say no. Like no, I'm not. You're not getting. You're not getting a kiss today. I think. I think if you do try to get a kiss and they say no, then you get minus one percent. But since they're fond of you, I think you get the plus one. I think that might be the confusion. But um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um. 
You know, there's a word I'm looking for here, and for the life of me, I'm forgetting it completely. This is why I don't do post-commentary very often. Um... But yeah, you're gonna get access to Denise's car. Which is this car right here. I don't know what it's called. And... The thing to remember is that when they give you the keys to their car, you don't automatically get to drive the car. What I mean by that is, if the car is already loaded in and you don't have the keys to it, the car is loaded in as if you don't have the keys to it, that it's locked. You have to drive away, come back, and get in the car, which I'm going to demonstrate right now that if you walk into it now, the car is indeed still locked. You have to drive away, despawn the car, drive back, the car will respawn, and it will respawn unlocked. And it will always respawn like that. Um, and then Denise's clothing that she gives you is a pimp suit. Yeah, you get a pimp suit. Now, it's not a purple suit, which, 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 which I honestly wish it was a purple suit. Like, like you know, just recolor the purple. It would have been amazing. And right here, we're coming back from our last date. You know, it's, uh, it's late at night. And we're going to end this off on some coffee. And I'm going to show off the, off the suit. And honestly, the costume, the extra costumes you get aren't bad. They don't give you any benefits. But they aren't bad, you know, aesthetically, aesthetically speaking. If you want, like, extra costumes to run around in, I think, I think, they're, I think they're okay for what you get. But, um, but also, uh, uh, also when it comes to the coffee thing, each girl will give you coffee at a specific percentile. Um, Denise, I believe, will give you coffee at 60%. Um, so that, so there's that. And when you get the ability to do the coffee option, that gives an extra 2% on top of the date. So you end up going from 5% to 7% and whatever percent you give in terms of giving gifts. And it, and it, and it cuts down significantly. You'd be surprised how quickly, how quickly that actually happens. You know, how, how quickly this actually goes in terms of, um, suits. And there's the pimp suit. It's a blue suit. You get some pretty slick shoes. And that's it. That is literally it. So if you want to get a pimp suit, just get Denise up to maximum percentage. Yeah. So moving on to the next girl, which is Helena, which is by far my least favorite character in the game, my least favorite girlfriend to try to get up to maximum percentile. That's because unless you have a high sex appeal, you have to have a low amount of muscle, a decent amount of fat, and you really, <laughs> I thought that was, that's actually pretty funny. If you listen there, uh, DJ CJ CJ saying express yourself and he's like express yourself love from Grove Street. Um, also, a bit of a trick to very trick you want if you want to see when your girlfriends are home, or if you want to do the visual visual cue like when they actually pop in, you'll see the you'll see their card drop. Now, the thing about Helena is that she likes rustic areas, and she has a lot of problems. Like if you listen to some of the some of the girls you're dating talk, they are weird. Like Helena loves getting money from divorced people and whatnot. She's an office worker, and she's crazy. But you, but really, the only place she likes to eat is at a restaurant. Is at a restaurant up here in the rodeo district. And the thing about the rodeo district is that it's right next to an area she doesn't like to eat. She doesn't like to go to. So, you take her up here every food date, let her eat, she like it, go from there. But the thing about it is, is that with Helena's gifts, You really only get one thing from Helena. I'm not kidding. Like in terms of gifts, you get 
each of the girl, with, with the exception of two of the girls, you get a set of clothing and, and the ability to drive a car. With Helena, you really only get a set of clothing because her car is the Bandito. You know, the car without any doors. So you literally get keys to a car that you can just jack at any point in the game. Did nobody think about that when they programmed this? You know? I mean, with with other with other characters, you know, I th with the exception with the exception of Barbara, which will be the second to last girl uh, we date. You don't really get you get unique vehicles for each of them. And need to, and you, and I can, and I can conceivably see why it is you would need keys to these cars. You can't just, you, you really can't just find these cars. At least I haven't been able to, be able to just randomly find them. But this is the Bandito. We can, there's, there's one other place you know where to get this, and you don't need the keys to it. Also, Helena's the most high-strung girl to get up to a percentile where you can get the coffee option from her, because you don't get the option for coffee from her until 70 percent. At that yeah, point, the coffee thing, the ad Destro coffee percent percentile doesn't drive. even help. Right, also, um, with Helena, her driving option, very simple. Very, very simple. Just drive around the area she lives. With the exception of one girl, every single, every single girlfriend you date likes the area in which they live. And I will show you which girl that is very soon. Also, there's a police officer stuck behind that wall, and that was hilarious to me. Um, but what you want to do is you want to drive up around here, hang a right about here, and just drive straight. Helen doesn't like you driving too fast, so just drive slow and you should be fine. By the time I think hits halfway, I recommend turning around and going back to the house. But I didn't, I didn't at this point in the game. I just wasn't thinking about it. But you can, that's something you can do. Um, and that's it. Helena doesn't have, have really have any special thing you can do to make that fun bar go up faster. You just drive. She's by far the most tedious character to get up to 100%. And it's so annoying. So now we're going to show, now I'm going to show that she likes to go dancing. Every girl likes to go dancing. Okay, let's go. And here's me coming back because I went to the same dance club I took Denise to. It it honestly doesn't matter. I just wanted to show that that at some point they're gonna ask for ask for uh, dancing. Um. Light on, girl. And that's about it, you know. And from Helena, you get the rural clothes. You get the and this is just hillbilly clothes. They actually look okay. And this is what I wanted to show. <laughs> She has left the key for her car. For that car right there in front of us. She left us keys to a one-seater with no doors. That we can just get in and hotwire at any point in the game. I also want to show that I got fat taking her out to eat. And the weird thing about being fat in this game is that... Carl's waistline disappears. You can actually see through his waist. How did nobody way? catch that? <laughs> you want to come up for some coffee? And here's her coffee option at 70%, where it oh, would wow. definitely increase the rate at which you gain affinity with her, but at this point in the game, it's like, so it doesn't even make it any Don't faster. Miss. Also, I wanted to show this off because I'm trying to kiss her here, and I keep switching through weapons, until I get to the toy. And I can't you knew. to give you a bit of context, she said, I can't believe you knew. This is the same toy that you used on Millie. That this is the same toy I used on Millie when I first got her. So literally I gave my girlfriend a toy I used on another girl. That was hilarious to me. <laughs> oh here I am now driving the cheetah. The cheetah is a series mainstay since uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, I'm driving up a wall for some reason. 
I should be heading back to the house to show off the rural clothes. But I want to show them in a different car because I like this car a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just it's just a random vehicle in a in a digital space, but I just like the look of this car and how it handles. I don't know why. It's just one of those things I like. Um But as you can see we're going we're going down here to the beach, as it were. And we should be coming up to this house, going in, showing off the clothes, and going from there. Also, I stole that random car because I could. I don't know why. It's just in there. And a bit of a side note, did anybody ever like just steal cars and park them inside the garage at, at your safe house randomly because you could? That was that that was something I oh I always I always did and I just don't know why. <laughs> I just don't know why. I was like a dumb kid doing that. So yeah, we got the pimp suit, the gimp suit, the valet uniform, and the rural clothes. And honestly, for hillbilly for a hillbilly uh, dress, it's not bad. It really isn't bad. So now we're going to be heading up to San Fierro and dating the next girl on the list, which is Michelle. Actually, no, I tell a lie. We're going over to uh, El Quiboras to get Barbara. Sure, he got my number. And, <laughs> and I want to show that Barbara likes fat guys, but because I have such a high sex appeal, I can skip that. I can literally skip that entire requirement. Hey, darling. Now Barbara's a cop. She likes you to obey the debate the debate the law and that's about it. She likes the general area and I believe she lives in the sheriff's office. Also the nearest diner she likes to eat is right up the street, so I want to show that. The unfortunate downside is that if you, when you take her on her dancing dates, you either have to go to the go to the go to the club in San Fierro, or the club in Las Venturas. And they're not short drives. And Barbara by far took the longest, just because she, of all of the girlfriends, loved to go dancing the most and when I mean the most I mean the most like the moment I mean like the moment you unlock the moment you hit the 40 percent time since time mark and you unlock the ability to go on a dinner date and then go on a dancing date the majority of her dates are just dancing dates at least they were for me what what I found out is that the is that uh, the dates are randomized. It's not a set pattern for when the dates will appear. It's completely random. So if for some reason you go you go on a date and it doesn't work out well, you can just reload, go on a different date, or go on the same date and do it better. Just something to let you guys know. And yeah, here's the diner. So we're going to go eat here and go from there. Now for Barbara's uh, special uh, costume. You get a police uniform. Which we've seen a thousand times. It's the same police uniform that Tenpenny wears and every other police officer that we see in the game. It's literally the exact same police uniform. And you get access to get this. Barbara's special car is a car we've seen a thousand times on the road. It's literally the police truck that appears in the desert. As a matter of fact, I think we're about to I think we're about to pass one uh, coming up here. Mm, no, we didn't pass one, but trust me, we seen it, you've seen it a lot. You've seen it a lot. As a matter of fact, it's just that truck right there, but red, but black and white. So it's like you, it's like, it's like you're, it's like, her, it's like her special car. It's like, see, is that, is that police truck right there? This one right here on the right. We'll do something again soon. Like, like your reward for dating her is just a police uniform and a police, and a police truck. You know, 
and it really isn't worth it. It really isn't. I'm just doing it to show that you can, and it's something that I can do, so I'm just going to do it. Now we're going on, on a dancing date, I believe. Let's go for a ride and take in some scenery. Area. Nope, nope, we're going driving. I am completely wrong on that again. It's, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while since I've actually recorded this particular playthrough. This, this particular, uh, session. And Barbara likes the, likes the area in which she lives, so just drive around that and don't drive too fast. And... The fun bar should go up on his own. What I what I generally do is I like to go up this road, hang a right out, and then hang a left. But the one thing about the fun bar that you might have noticed is that it won't go up immediately. You start off with an amount of fun. But even if you're driving in an area they like, or if you do something they like, like Bar, like the least like going like going on drive-bys and you start shooting people the bar won't go up for like two seconds two or three seconds it just won't go up but after it goes up and you're in an area they like it'll just keep going up at a, at a steady rate and I don't know why that is I don't remember that being that the original I don't remember that happening at the original version it could have but I don't remember it but yeah that's a but yeah, that's a, that's generally it. And for Barbara, you will get invited in for coffee at roughly fifty percent. So it does. So you you get the ability to get an extra two percent after each date, pretty quickly. Now this was the dancing date, and I'm not gonna show me driving all the way up there because it's a long drive and I don't want to bore you guys. But I am gonna show exactly exactly which um which uh clubs are the closest just because and i and i elected to go for the one in san fierro because that one seemed closer to me you know it seemed distance wise it was just the quickest one and that was it now this one should be the actual um oh nope nope it's just so in a successful date hmm and right now we're about 60 70 percent this is where we get her keys i think we're at 50 percent this is where we get her keys i don't know why i don't know why i said 60 percent here's the fun bar at max you fancy a coffee or something and one of the thing is that is either I mean, here's the weird thing about Barbara. Is either she lives at the police station or you're or you're banging her on one of the police station desks, which is just hilarious to me. So yeah. Also I was wrong, it's not fifty percent, it's actually sixty percent. So yeah. That's weird. Wait a minute, it was Barbara I was thinking about that was 60%. Denise gives it to you at 40%. You come in I don't know how... I said, no, I got those two mixed up. I thought there were t I thought two black girls again. Oh, right, this is how that works. Nope, not how that works at all. <laughs> but, um... But, yeah, so... This is Barbara at max. We're going to do a jump cut to another house. And show off the... Uh, see all the police uniform because the house that I've been driving back and forth to is the airport the abandoned airport we bought from Mike Torino and there are no wardrobe options at that place it's just you go there and you're done and here's the cop not gonna lie CJ rocks it pretty well but yeah I'm not, not wearing a cop uniform so there's that. Now on to the next one, which this time is in San Fierro. I don't know why I forgot that I went to El Cabarrus first and then went to San Fierro. And the first girl on our list, since there are two girls who live in San Fierro that we are dating, is Michelle. 
Now, Michelle's a little bit different. Michelle is actually probably the easier of the girls. She's definitely the... In terms of, in terms of difficulty, it's... Uh, from from least difficult to most difficult to max out, it would be Millie, Katie, Michelle, Denise, Barbara, and Helena. In terms of just people who are simple, simple, uh, just in terms of easiest to least resistance. Because with Michelle, she likes bars. Just take her to a bar. I believe I've shown off one time where we took her to a bar, but I'm showing it again just to make certain. And she likes it when you drive fast. So if you go on a fun date with her, like a driving date, just drive as fast as you can. And it will increase that bar dramatically. Now, I don't know a good place where you can speed. Because you also have to drive fast in an area she likes. And the only place I can think of is the strip. Is um, it's a strip going straight past your garage that you get in San Fierro from a uh, from a pink slip from that pink slip race when you were racing against the Grand Theft Auto Three protagonist. Um, and the keys to her car are, are it's a monster truck. So yeah, and I don't know where else you can find a monster truck except maybe at the uh, at at the at the uh, barn house. Uh, that Mike Torino recruited you from. We had to do the uh, the monster truck mission. Yeah, as long as you're driving fast, you're good. So, so Michelle's is easier just because you can get a lot of get to a lot of different places much quicker. And she's very laid back. Um, but one thing that I do like about each of these, uh, about each of the girlfriends, even though some, even though it's a, it's a pain in the neck that to get it done, is that they actually have some pretty, pretty funny random dialogue. Um, Michelle is very much a gearhead. She likes, she likes American muscle cars. And her first car was a perennial. With Helena, she, she's crazy. She likes to shoot people. You know, she talks about how she shot a boy from once by mistake. Denise is just like, do you like me, Carl? It's like, are you, are you clingy? And Barbara just talks about how she goes, how she, how she, uh, how CJ, she's younger than she usually goes for, and how she has two kids, and that's about it. Um. Perfect. Now, Katie, Katie's a weird, is a weird subject, and we will get to her when we get to her, but my God. Um, but yeah, and the thing about Michelle, Michelle has, but, but back to Michelle, Michelle has one thing about her, and this is one thing that was a, gl that it was a glitch in the original game that could be worked around. It could be, wor you could work around it and still get it to work. In this version, they somehow made it worse. And that has to do with her special date. And I don't mean the draw and I don't mean the mean the mean the special date with the fun element on it. I mean a special date. At some point, uh, I wanna say f same 40, 50 percentile marking for uh, for every other girlfriend, Michelle will give Michelle will have the option where she wants to drive your car. I see you soon, huh? Now, this is how this works. How the game should function is that you should pull up, park. She will, she will get into the car, say she wants to drive. Then you will get out, move to the other side of the car. She will get in the driver's seat, and then you will proceed to just watch the car drive. Um, you, you proceed to watch the car dr drive by itself, and all you do is just work the cinematic camera. Let me drive, CJ. Now, okay, but treat her good. here's the problem. How the glitch worked in the original game is that she would get if you were in the car when you pulled up to the red marking, she will get in the car and she will drive away like so. Leaving you standing here by yourself. 
And once she gets a certain distance from you, you fail the date and she loses fondness for you. How you worked around it in the original game is you would pull up to the spot, stop before you pull into it, get out of the, get out of the car, walk into the red indicator, get her out the house, get in the car. By the way, there she is right there on the left in case you didn't notice. And I'm about to get to that in a second. But how you would get it is you would get into the car, and then she would get into the car. Then you'd get out the car, she would get into the seat, you walk around, get into the side seat, and then you would proceed to, di to the, proceed with the date as normal. There she is again. Here's how they messed it up even further inside this version. And how they messed it up even further inside this version is this. No matter what you do, she will always pull away from you. Even if you, even if you get out the car and pull up, so here's your workaround. Okay. Bye, baby girl. And the workaround is completely random. You have to park the car in a specific spot, walk into the into the red indicator, and then have her kick you out the car in a specific spot. Generally, right there by the stairs on the side of the street. Because what will happen is she will get in the car, and she will drive in a loop. Okay, let's go. She will drive in a loop around the city, and it will be far enough that she's driving it around, but close enough that you won't fail the mission, and she'll just go in a loop until the date comes to an end. That's what you guys just saw. And you will still count the date as done. Now the date itself usually lasts about a minute. It's not, it's not that long. But I figured I'd show you guys this right off the bat. Which I, think, I figured I'd show you guys this happening. Just so you know when it happens. Now if you don't want to deal with the random factor of whether or not she'll just stick close enough to the date to stick close enough to you that the date won't fail what you need to do what you can do is you can quit reload and hope for a different date so yeah whether or not you have a good time with, with Michelle's dating progress is completely random and I don't know why it got worse in this version. I just, I just don't know. But that's how you work around it. And should you fail the fail the driving date, what will happen is that you will lose progress. She'll drive off with your car, and you'll be permanently stuck in cinematic camera, even if you're just walking around. Now this is the regular driving date where you're in control. You don't have to worry about her driving. All you gotta do is just draw. Is just if you want to get this over with fast, just follow the route I take and gun it. Just gun it, and you will. And I guarantee you, you will. You will fill that bar up faster than any than any of the other driving dates. Just because you're going as fast as possible. And that's really it. And now I will get to the now to the um, rewards you get for getting Michelle up to certain points in the game and posting her progress for you. 50% once again keys to her car which is the keys to her monster truck. 100% you get a mechanic jumpsuit that has her name and her business name printed on the back so you can literally pull up you can literally do this mission first get her up to 100 percent and then date her and then date your other girlfriends wearing the wearing a wearing a suit with one of your girlfriend's business names printed on the back and that's hilarious to me 
Also, be careful about drifting because if you because I think how this how, how the driving date works is that if the game senses that your that your finger that you don't have the acceler that you don't have the acceleration bu button pushed down, then you lose uh, affinity with her. So that's just what happens. It's either that or if it senses it, it senses it senses if the button is pressed down or if the car is actually moving. I don't know. I didn't test the latter, but I do know that the former is is, is definitely true. My first car was a and the, and uh, and Michelle invites you in for coffee around sixty percent. So yeah, it's actually a pretty low percentile. And after this is Katie and Millie, and Millie is by far the easiest of them next to Katie, because with Katie, I mean. The thing about Katie is that you don't have to take her to the club very often, or at least when I w at least when I did my runs, she never. Like, I think she only asked to go to the club once, and that's all records with like 15 dates. She always asked her to go to the club once. Every other time was driving and eating, mostly driving dates, and that's generally because of how weird Katie is. Now. Here is Michelle's clothing gift to you. A racing suit. I thought it was a mechanic suit. A racing suit. It looks like a mechanic suit, if you ask me. That has her name printed on the back, as we're about to see now. Michelle's. Oh, that's funny. So now, so now if you ever want to do a... Now, now you have a racing suit if you want to go on racing missions. Um, that you can find scattered randomly inside the world. Now on to Katie. Katie works in, is, is a med, is a medic, and her fifty percent is her hearse. Katie is weird because she she says, and I quote, "I only work in the ER because it gives me a thrill." Katie likes it when you wreck, and I mean when you wreck. If you want a driving date and you just crash, you'll just say, she'll just say, CJ, I love you, you're driving me crazy, that kind of stuff. She likes extreme lifestyles. She also has the ugliest character model in the game, which you're about to see. And she's the only character, she's the only girlfriend that you date who, who doesn't like it, who doesn't like driving around where she lives. There's a diner behind her house. She likes diners. But if but I remember distinctly taking her to the diner behind her house and because it was in the near, in the, in the in the neighborhood that she didn't like the date failed. So I recommend taking her to this diner cuz in the area she likes. Area. Hmm. Area. Hmm. That seems like a word in the area she likes. Now, here's why I say she has the ugliest character model in the game. She's very clearly Asian, and my god, that forehead. And then from the side of you, it's like, what the heck happened? But, um, yeah. But at 50%, you will get access to her hearse. And at 100%, you will get access to... A medic suit. Also, in the course of me doing this entire series set, set of dating, my my driving skill went through the freaking roof. Like it went through the roof. I'm not kidding. I didn't max it out, but it went up there. Now the weird thing about it is, I don't think Katie likes it when you drive fast. She likes it when you wreck. She makes comments that she likes it when you wreck anyway, but she doesn't like it when you drive fast. Now you just gotta now you just gotta find a place she likes, and generally she likes the outer ring, in the harbor area of San Fierro, like right around here. You know, all you gotta do is just drive moderately slow, and you'll get there. And the, and the weird thing about it is, you can just take you can just you can just hitch a ride behind her house, go down the road, and you're right there. It, it's not even a far drive from her place. It's honestly like Helen in that regard. You don't have to go far from uh, your 
uh, from your girlfriend's house to actually get the date done. You can just turn around, and come right back. This is why uh, this is why I don't mind Katie's date so much because most of the dates I went on with her were just these driving dates, and then you just park. It's like it takes all of like ten seconds. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, so so we're dating. We're since he, we're since he dating an adrenal an adrenaline junkie that likes taking it slow but loves seeing gore. You know, I don't know what I don't know what you call people who are into that, but that. That's what she likes. she likes. She likes seeing blood and violence. Now, that's the, now, the, now the fun thing about doing the girlfriend missions is that if you go up to a girlfriend date and you have a second player plugged in, I'm not sure if it's still like that for this version, um, but if you take her on a date and you come back there, you can actually hit the two player option and have this play a two play as one of your girlfriends. And this is Katie at, max, at maxed out uh, percentile. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I don't think I showed one instance of her wanting to go on a dancing date. But she does go on a dancing date. I think for my run, she never asked for dancing dates. I could have sworn she did. Hmm. Now there are two places that you can take that you can take Kay that she does like to drive through. The one in the back that I just showed, and Chinatown. Now we are about to head to another house that I bought. I literally bought another house in San Fe in, in Las Venturas. I'm actually driving up the road right now to show you guys exactly where it is because this house is right down the street from Millie's house just to show off the medic uniform. And the thing about Millie is that Millie by far has the easiest requirements and the easiest special date to get her up to max because her special date gives you a whole 10%. This is the house I bought, by the way. 50000 sent me back a bit, but I felt like it was worth it just so I can have a place to come back to, park, and come and go up and see where she has. See where she is, and see where she has to still have a car that has that gives me high sex appeal. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, she has a dating thing that gives her a whole 10%. And this entire series, and this entire video picks up right after we did the special mission where we got uh, access to her as a girlfriend. But you may have noticed that we didn't see her status on the achievement uh, on the achievement section. That's because you have to go on one date outside of that mission before you before you get her in the um, in the achievements. Also, here's the medic uniform. I don't know what's up to put the black gloves, but hey. Eh? Whatever works. But her special date is very simple. You put on the gimp suit, drive over to her house, go straight in the coffee, and you get 10%. It's that simple. Also, I, I stay parked her for some reason. I think I might have walked away for a minute, or I wasn't paying attention. One of the two. But that's all you gotta do. I need some. That's all you gotta do, and you only have to do this for like twenty percent. Like you only have to do this date twice, and you get and you get access to the um, key card mission that you need to get for Woozy to continue on with the asset missions. Actually, you only need to do it. Yeah, you only need to do it twice. Technically, you only need to do it. You only, you only need to do it twice. You can just do one mission outside of that. And how this works is that you drive back to your house. She, what is supposed to happen is that supposedly Millie takes your gimp suit, washes it, takes it to your house, drops it off, and then you pick it up there. And you can date Millie regularly. Like I'm not kidding. And at the end of this grinding session, like I think around 70%, I straight up take her down, I, not take her down, I straight up stop with the gimp suit and just date her regularly. Because regularly speaking, you will get regular coffee, you know, I call it coffee, that's what they call it inside the game, but you will get regular regular coffee at 40%. She's one of the easier girls. Also, this is where you get the, uh, you get a phone call. And let's listen. 
Millie, what's up? Hey, Carl. Just called to say that last night was terrific. Likewise, baby. Likewise. Listen, I thought about that little scheme you told me about. Don't worry, I haven't told anybody. Not even my mom. I've left the key card and the door code in my bedroom. Millie, girl, you will not regret this. I know, because I'm getting a cut, right? Oh, for sure, baby, for sure. I'm gonna do you right. Okay, you got it. So yeah, there you go. And to show that you don't have to do this anymore, I go up to I go up to her house and show that there is now a yellow icon in front of her door. And that icon means you can walk in at any time to get the key card. I think it goes away once you go in to get the key card. I think it goes I think it goes in once you get the once you get the key card. But I'm showing that off right now to show you that you can stop right here. Like literally in terms of girlfriends, you can stop right here. They don't break up with you. They don't like straight up leave you until you stop by their house and they tell you it's over. So you can keep the benefits from Barbara and Millie not Barbara and Millie from Barbara and, and Katie um, so long as you don't just don't stop by their place. And Barbara's is that you don't lose money or your weapons when you get when you get busted and Millie is the same thing when you get wasted. So yeah. I did it anyway just to show that you do get extra stuff if you go out of your way to do it. See right there, you see there's a yellow dot right there. And now this is a little bit later, I've gotten like up to 70%, 80% something in that ballpark, and I'm taking Millie on regular dates. Millie likes going to restaurants, dancing, and driving slow. Now I think this is the one club I actually do show because it is a different song, it is a different dance animation. And I want to show off that there, that it is different because in the San Fierro Club um, at the Gaydar Station, that I think is what the club is called, and the Ala, Ala something or other, I, 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 Alahama, I think it's Alahama in Los Santos. They play, they play the same song. Uh, it's Cool in the Gangs, Hollywood Swingin', uh -huh. yeah. and it was just one. Um, one dance the entire time so I cut that out because I didn't want to sort of decide to get the same dance every time but here is a rap song I don't know what the song is called I don't I didn't care to look it up and it is a different uh, dance animation also Millie says some very weird stuff when you she says some very weird stuff to you while you're driving um, and all of it is about Sexual escapades and a random fun fact about airline food that you really didn't need to know about. Airline food makes you fun. So yeah. So I'm just going to Actually, there it is, right there. That that's, that was the line right there, and it's like it's one of those things where it's like they put some personality in these girls, but at the same time, the back and forth is so dull and bland that there's just you honestly wonder why they did it in the first place. Like the humor is the first time just for the sheer shock value of it, but after a while it's like, why? It's just why, you know what I mean? You've got great hair. So yeah. Um actually I, I think I actually the lyrics to the song is like it's like this and like that and like this and and it's like it's one of those things where it's like, okay, and okay, so I'm, I'm gonna leave my cards out right now. I'm not a big fan of rap. I'm just not. I know I'm the, I'm the one brother in the, in the world who doesn't like rap, but the reason why I don't really like a lot of it is that it just sounds stupid. And this game puts a lot of the, a lot of those rap songs in here. The ones that just seem dumb and are generally about killing people, and there are deep good rap songs out there. I don't want to make it seem like I don't think there's a single good rap song, period. But it's like, it's like, it's like the one rap they want to put in is the rap that most gangsters listen to, or is what they, what they assume, what people assume gangsters listen to, and it's some of the dumbest stuff I've ever heard in my life. Like, um, in an earlier part, I got hit with a copyright strike, 
not copyright strike, a copyright claim uh, for two different songs. One song was Low Rider. Um, by a group who did who does that song. It's like, oh my god, it's like a, like a low rider. It's like, is that song? But it's like the song never appeared in the part. I just named, I just titled the part Low Rider, and I got hit with a copyright claim by this group. And then I got hit with another claim um, for a song called How How I Could Just Kill a Man by some other group. And I'm just gonna say it right now. This might be me being a little bit petty about the fact that I tried to keep that down and about the fact that the song didn't appear initially in the spot where they claimed it did. But the song sucks. The group sucks. I don't care. Like, the song sucks. <laughs> so, I'm not surprised, but... Yeah, it's, it's just one of those things where it's like, you act, like, like you think about it, you see it, and you just realize... Yeah... It's like, yeah, it's like... Oh, the camel's toe. That's what, the, that's, what that, that's what that club's called. I just caught that in the bottom right corner there. Um, but yeah, you can, but yeah, uh, but yeah, Millie, Millie's pretty simple, you know. And, um, and don't take it to fast food joints. I did take it to a fast food joint once, and that was a bad mistake. Now, the thing with Millie is that if you really want to get her fond and stuff, just take her down the Las Vegas Strip. Like, take it on the main strip, and that will get her fondness up and driving. And I don't know what that guy was doing. Um. And this is, I think, this is one of the final dates that you can go on. I mean, the restaurant date, there's just one, like, near her place. And. After that, you, you, we, you've done, you've maxed out all the girlfriends. Their affinity, their affinity will never drop down once you hit 100%. They just, it never does. You never have to date them again. They don't call you at all. And you get to drive their cars and get a get a suit out of it. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. I don't know what else to say about that. And with that, the fun driving mission has come to an end. And, and now we should be getting on to the final date, which is a dinner date. And I guess now I can I can sum up my feelings on the I can I can sum I can sum up my feelings on the um I can I can I can sum up my feelings on the um girlfriends. I said it a couple of times uh, throughout the play, and I said it a couple of times about this video, but it bears repeating. You really don't get much for 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 going out on these dates, and they eventually drop the mechanic completely from Grand Theft Auto. It will. I think the last game it showed up in was Grand Theft Auto 4, and then that one you only got two girlfriends, both of which were story related, and there was a funny glitch involving one of them. And with this game, you get six girlfriends. And the only real incentive you have, the only incentive that you have to actually date them is that some of them give you access to a car. So let's say it's like you're on, a, like you're in like a chase, six star one at level, and you just need to have a car to drive. You can go up, you, and if you're and if you're near them, you're near one of the houses, you can just run up, grab the car, and go. It'll always spawn. But the thing is that one is that three of the girls, their cars aren't unique. One of them doesn't you don't even need the keys for. And how often and if you're and if you're in a position where you don't have a car, you're probably about to get shot to death anyway. You know? Um the extra clothes are nice, but two of them aren't you. Two of them aren't really that unique. They're just clothes you see on NPCs, and that's generally about it. You know, I mean, with Millie, you get a gimp suit from her, but you have to get that as part of a mission to disguise yourself. Is the and the other clothes are nice and all, but is it really worth it? 
but yeah, this is but yeah, but in the end, this is this is the uh, this is that's pretty much it, you know. Aside from Katie and Barbara, which got you, um, which got you extra like bonuses, like it 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 lessened the penalty for dying and getting busted by the police. There really isn't much of a need to actually go out and date them. They don't have much personality. They actually don't have. I would actually they don't have any personality outside from a few random qu random quips. And that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. And this, uh, and with that, this has been the Devious Wolf. This has been a girlfriend session. Let's finish this off on some more coffee. And I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, oh. Ooh, what? You should get paid for it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry.